Let's go, batter up. We're taking the afternoon off. It's a beautiful day for a ball game, for a ball game today. The fans are out to get a kick in or two. From Walla Walla, Washington to Kalamazoo, it's a beautiful day for a home run. But even a trickle's okay. We're gonna cheer and boo and raise a hullabaloo at the ball game today. Hi everybody, this is Appa Bryan and Appa Baseball Classics bringing to you Game 4 of the 1970s Tournament. 1978 Los Angeles Dodgers against the 1979 Pittsburgh Pirates. Dodgers lost yesterday. They must win today to extend their visit to the 70s Tournament. Burt Blylevin is on the mound. He's completed his warm-up tosses and we're ready to begin. Let's play ball. Davey Lopes steps into the box. Here's the pitch to the speedy Dodger second baseman, 21. Read the black dice first. And that's a fly ball to left field, caught by Bill Robinson. Both teams are defensive fielding column one today, as their total is out to 41. Here is Bill North in the lineup today. A lot of speed on top of the Dodger lineup. 54 is a fly ball to right field. Two quick outs for Burt Blylevin, and here is Steve Garvey. It's going to be a base hit for Garvey. Using basic Kappa all the way, except in, in still going to give the catchers a chance to throw out base runners. Here's the Penguin, Ron Say. 34, well in the inning, that's a fly ball to center field. We go to the bottom of the first. No score. Our Pirates come into bat. TJ Tommy John's on the mound for the Dodgers. Three times a 20 game winner. Once with the Dodgers, twice with the Yankees. He is a grade B pitcher with a Y and Z modifier. Here's the pitch to Omar Marino. 53 is a 16 fly ball to center field. That is caught by Billy North. One out. Here is Bill Madlock, 298 hitter in 1979. He was the National League batting champion in 74. 64 is a 39. Strike one. Left hander goes into his windup and the pitch. 1-1 one, one roll. That's hit. Hit column. 44 is going to be a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here, and the Pirates are on the board first. One to nothing Pittsburgh on the Bill Madlock home run. That wakes up the crowd early. Here is the Cobra, Dave Parker. 63 is a fly out to center field. Two down. And now Willie Stargell. 56 will end the inning. That's a pop up to shortstop or wide. Tommy John has the wide, so Stargell is a strikeout victim. Caught looking. We go to the top of the second. Pittsburgh won and Los Angeles nothing. All right, we go to the top of the second inning and the Pirates lead. One to nothing. We're blood we will have Reggie Smith, Dusty Baker, and Bill Russell to contend with in the top of the second. Right-hander Burt Blyvelevin looks in for the sign. Here's the pitch to Reggie Smith. 15 is a single to center field. Dodgers have their leadoff hitter on. He has average speed. Here's left fielder Dusty Baker. 1-6 is a fielder's choice ground ball to... Shortstop Tim Foley. So they get 
Smith out at second. Becker's the base runner. Also average speed. Here is Billy Russell from Pittsburgh, Kansas. 23 is a 26. That's going to be a fewer choice ground ball to Phil Garner at second base. Now that the Dodgers have a fast runner at first and the catcher batting now is Steve Yeager. Robert Blylevin appears in for the sign. He had one of the best curveballs in the 1970s. Also had a decent fastball. And in his second year in the major leagues, he learned a changeup. There's the pitch to Steve Yeager. 41 is a 28. That's a ground out to the shortstop, Tim Foley. The Dodgers are retired. They don't score. Pittsburgh won, LA nothing. All right, for the bottom of the second inning, the Pittsburgh Pirates to send up Bill Robinson, Phil Garner, and Tim Foley against Tommy John. 21 is a fly ball to left field. Dusty Baker is under it, makes the catch. One away. Here is the Pirates' second baseman, Phil Garner. 293 hitter in 1979. 51 is an 8 against AB. That's going to be a fly out to Billy North in center field. Two outs. Tim Foley. 43 is a roller back to Tommy John. Flips the first. Three up and three down for the Pirates in the second. We go to the top of the third. Pittsburgh won and Los Angeles nothing. All right, Burt Blaylevin will be pitching to the pitcher first, Tom, Tommy John, then Davey Lopes and Billy North. 62 is a pop out to the shortstop, Tim Foley. 55 is a fly ball to center field. Lamar Marino is under it and makes the catch. Here is Billy North. 63 is a 33. That's going to be a pop out to the second baseman, Phil Garner. He's between the mound and second base and makes the catch. Three up and three down. Go to the bottom of the third. Pirates one, Dodgers nothing. Tommy John is probably best known for the reconstructive surgery, but he was a better pitcher than most people think. He won 288 major league games with a career 3.34 earn run average. The bottom of the third, he had had uh, Burt Blylevin and Omar Marino. He's allowed just one hit thus far, but that hit went over the wall. Here's the pitch to Ed Ott, 55. Is a fly ball to center field, stay in the ballpark, and Billy North runs it down near the warning track. One down. Here's the pitcher, Burt Blylevin. 14's a fly out to left field. Center fielder, Omar Marino. Tommy John has retired. Seven Pirates in a row. Here's a pitch to Marino. Twelve. He'll be the eighth re retired. That's going to be a ground ball to second base. Davy Lopes is up with it. Throws the first. Three up and three down for the Pirates. We go to the top of the fourth. Pittsburgh one. Dodgers nothing. Steve Garvey leads off for the Dodgers in the top of the fourth. Um, Blylevin had... Uh, 287 victories, one less than Tommy John. And his lifetime ERA was 3.31, which is about the same as Tommy John. Tommy John was 3.34, but only one of them is in the Hall of Fame. Here's the pitch to Steve Garvey. 45 is a base on balls. Garvey slings away the bat, trots down the first. He has average speed. Here's the penguin, Ron Say. 
63 as I fly out to the left fielder, Bill Robinson. One down. Here is Reggie Smith. 61 is a 40. And that is a runner out stealing. I give them a chance chance to go. Um, there's a throw. Uh, I'm using basic, but I do give the catchers a chance to throw out the runners to the light. On the flip side, I'm going to give the, the runner a chance to be safe on that result. And that's the catcher. He is a 7, 11 through 16. Harvey will be out, and he steals second and gets a throw in here. Ball sails in the center field, so Garvey goes to third on the 6-6 roll. So a stolen base for Steve Garvey. He's at third with only one down. Once again, this is the chart I use. And now it's a 7, 11 through 16. He has been saved. Throwing error on 64 through 66, and we rolled 66. So Garvey's at third. Reggie Smith still up. Here's the pitch to Reggie Smith. Infield is playing in. 1-4 is a fly ball to left field. And it's not deep enough to score the runner. Here's Dusty Baker, last opportunity for the Dodgers to get this game tied. With a runner on third, pitch to Dusty Baker. 31 is a 9 against the B. That's going to be a single through shortstop. And Garvey will score. Dodgers have tied the game. Baker's average speed of first. Billy Russell. 54 is a fly out the right field. But on a walk and a hit, the Dodgers score. And the throwing error was big in that, so it would be an unearned run. Dodgers won. Pirates won. Bill Madlock will lead off the bottom of the fourth. He has accounted for the Pirates' only run with a home run in the second at bat of the game back in the first inning. It was a solo home run. He'll be followed by Dave Parker and Willie Stargell. Tommy John completes his warm-up tosses. Here's the pitch to Mad Dog Madlock. 65 is popped up behind home plate. It is caught by Ed Ott. One out, pop out to the catcher. The Cobra Dave Parker. 62 is a strikeout. And now Willie Stargell. One six is a 28. That's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. Bill Russell, three up and three down for the Pirates in the fourth. We go to the fifth inning, one to one. All right, the Major League's first player from the Netherlands completes his warm-up tosses. Here's a pitch to Steve Yeager in the top of the fifth. Tie game, 35, is a base on balls. Yeager takes first. That's the second walk surrendered by Burt Blylevin. Yeager is slow. We're going to play all slow runners safe, unless I say otherwise. Pitcher Tommy John will be up to sacrifice. 22 is a 9. And that's a bump picked up by the third baseman. And the throw goes over to first. Successful sacrifice. Jaeger goes to second. Now there's one out and top of the order, Davy Lopes. All right, Davy Lopes has some power. He had 17 home runs in 1978. His home run high was 28 for a season. 35 is going to be another base on balls. 
first and second for Billy North. One, two is a 25. Feeling call one, that's a double play. Six, four, three. That ends the inning, and the threat from the Dodgers. We go to the bottom of the fifth, one, one tie. I don't know why Tommy John is not in the Hall of Fame as opposed to Burt Blyla, but maybe most of Tommy John's pitching was quite a lot of it was in the 60s when dominant pitchers were kind of garden variety in those days. Blyla was later in the 70s and 80s when pitching was not as prevalent as the 60s and early 70s. Here's a pitch to Bill Robinson. 6-6 six, six rolls, a drive for Bill Robinson. It might be, it could be, it is out of here, a home run. The Pirates go up top, 2-1. to one. Phil Garner. That's a 33. Garner squares one up. It's a ball that is a four. That's a double over third base. And so far in the fifth inning, the Pirates are finding the answer against Tommy John. Here is Tim Foley. Thirty-five. That's a single over second. And let's see, Garner will score on the RBI single by Tim Foley. It's three to one. Timeout. Dodgers pitching coach Red Adams comes to the mound. Have to give Tommy John a little moment to collect his thoughts. Goes back to the dugout. And Tommy John resets himself, ready to pitch to Pirates catcher Ed Ott. 45 is a base on ball. First four Pirates here in the inning are just a triple away from the cycle. <laughs> and no outs. First and second. Here is Burt Blylevin. Blylevin will sacrifice. 64 is a strike. Strike two. And 32 gets this one down. Third baseman fields it. Ron Say throws the first with uh, Lopes covering first. Runners advance. Second and third, one down. Here is Omar Marino. Infield playing in. 3-3 three, three roll. And that's an 8 against a B. It's going to be a fly out to center field. But deep enough to score the runner at third. 4-1 to one Pittsburgh. Two outs. Bill Madlock. And that will end the inning if they pop out to the shortstop. But the Pirates score three times on three hits, starting off with a home run by Bill Robinson. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Pittsburgh four and Los Angeles one. The Dodgers have Garvey, Say, and Smith. This is the pivotal inning for them. Uh, we're not quite late in the game yet, but this is the middle of the order. Here's a pitch from Burke Blylevin, 55, to Steve Garvey as a base hit. Lead off single for Steve Garvey. Average speed. Ron Say. 46 is a strikeout. And that is the first strikeout in the game for Burke Blylevin. Here's Reggie Smith.
popped up in the air to the shortstop, two outs, Dusty Baker. Baker swings from the right side. 24 is going to be a fly out to the center fielder Omar Marino. So the Dodgers get the leadoff runner hit, but that's where it stops. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Pirates four and the Dodgers one. The Cobra Dave Parker is scheduled to lead off for Pittsburgh in the bottom of the sixth inning. He is the MVP in the National League in 1978 with a 334 average. He, he got MVP votes um, high on the list five times. I think he had MVP votes in nine of his seasons. Some folks point out that the Cobra's career was similar to Jim Rice's, and of course Rice is in the Hall of Fame, and Dave Parker is not in the Hall of Fame, but I'm not sure that Cobra was a better defensive player, but I think Rice was a better offensive player. Uh, Rice had... 382 home runs career compared to Parker's 339, and Rice had a thousand, more than a thousand fewer career at bats. And Rice was a 298 career hitter. Parker was 290. Similar, but Rice was better. So a lot of folks point out that Parker's not in the Hall of Fame because of his drug testimonies in 1985 when he admitted that he was a cocaine user throughout much of his career. Here's a pitch to Dave Parker from Tommy John, 63, fly out to center field. Willie Stargell. Thirty-four is a fly out to center field. Stargell's over for three today. He's in the Hall of Fame, and there is no doubt about that. Here is Bill Robinson, 52. He has a ground ball to third base, taken by Ron Say, the throw to Garvey. Three outs. We go to the seventh inning. Pirates four, Dodgers one. Burt Blyvelin is still five batters away from his point of fatigue. He's ready to face 28 batters. Bill Russell and... Steve Yeager and the pitcher are scheduled to hit in the top of the seventh inning. Here's a pitch to Billy Russell. 1-2 is a 25. That is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Second strikeout by Blylevin. Here is... It's a low total for him. He did get a lot of strikeouts. Here's the pitch to Steve Yeager. 25 is 36. Ball one. Fifteen is going to be a base hit for over shortstop by Steve Yeager. Slow runner at first. Dodgers are three runs down. They're going to send up a pitch hitter for the pitcher. That's Rick Monday. Thirty-five is a fourteen base on balls for Rick Monday. So Jaeger's at second, Monday is at first, top of the order to Davey Lopes. Dodgers need base runners and help might be on the way for Blylevin as Enrique Romo is warming in the bullpen. Blylevin did not like to come out of games. Here's a pitch to Davey Lopes. 62 is a fly ball to the left. So he's out. Lopes is 0 for 3. Billy North. 56 will end the inning. That's popped up in the air. Third baseman. Bill Medlock is under it and makes the catch. That's it for the Dodgers in the 7th. They don't score. And they leave two stranded. Go to the bottom of the 7th. Pittsburgh 4 and LA 1. Lance Rousen comes on to pitch for Los Angeles. Tommy John worked six innings, gave up four earned runs, four hits, two strikeouts, and one walk. Phil Garner will lead off for the Pirates in the bottom of the seventh inning. Sixty-one is a thirty-six. 
ball one. Austin is a grade B pitcher, Z modifier. 36 is a base on balls to Phil Garner. Fast runner at first, Tim Foley. And Tim Foley has an extra 31 on his batting card, so we're going to try to hit and run. And here's a pitch to Foley. 54 is a 32. That's a fly out to right field. Garner goes back to first. One down, Ed Ott. Forty-four is a base hit for Ed Ott. It's a single right field, and Garner goes to third. Pirates have men on the corners. One down. Dodgers are going to play for the double play. Blylevin's the scheduled hitter. Actually, they would play the infield in. All right, here's a pitch to Burt Blylevin. Twenty-six is a strikeout. Two outs, and he'll get the Omar Marino in the infield. We play him back as much as you can against Marino. He's fast. Twenty-two is an eight. He gets to be. <clears throat> that's going to be a with runners on first and third. That's a single to right field, and a runner will score. The other goes to third or second because he's slow. I'm playing it safe. RBI single for Marino. Five to one Pittsburgh. Bill Madlock. Twenty. Five is a single. Nope, that's going to be an out. Ground out to the pitcher. One to three. Tens are usually a hit, but with first and second, it gets a B pitcher. That's an out. Pirates had one. We go to the eighth. Dodgers are running out of chances to stay in this tournament. All right, Burt Blylevin is past his point of fatigue, but there are no marks against him. It takes three to lower his grade by one level. Um... Romo had been working in the bullpen, but he is now seated. Steve Garvey leads off for the Dodgers. 3-6 is a ground ball to third base. Medlock throws to first, one away. Here is Ron Say. 6-2 is a 39. That's going to be a, ball, a strike. Here's a pitch to the Penguin. 1-1 one, one roll. That's going to be stroked to right center field. It's going to split the gap. And the Penguin will waddle into second base with a double. Here's Reggie Smith. 1-1. Romo and Tacovi get back up in the bullpen. Here's the pitch to... Reggie Smith, 62, is a swing and a miss, strike three. Dusty Baker, 36, is going to be a swing and a miss for strike three. All right, Burbo Eleven shows manager Chuck Tanner he wants to stay in this game by striking out the last two Dodgers. We go to the Bottom of the eighth inning, Pittsburgh five and Los Angeles one. Terry Forster will be calling on the pitch for Los Angeles in the bottom of the eighth. He's a grade A pitcher, Y and Z modifiers. He's got Dave Parker, Willie Sargio, and Bill Robinson. Here's the pitch to Dave Parker. Swings from the left side, 53 is a 15 against the... Uh, Call him one defense. That's a pop out to shallow left field. Here's Willie Stargell. 
He swings from the left side. Pinwheels the bat. Here's the pitch. 15 is a 8 against an 8. It's going to be popped into the air toward third base. And that's caught by Ron Say. Two outs. Bill Robinson. 34 as they fly out the center field. Three up and three down for the Pirates. We have the top of the ninth. Pittsburgh 4 and Los Angeles 1. Herb Lylevin pitched 237 innings in 1979. He wants to pitch one more here today. Bill Russell and Steve Yeager at the bottom of the order. A pitch ever for the pitcher or schedule to hit. Here's the pitch to Billy Russell. 43 is a 29. That's an X and that's a strikeout. Blylevin has struck out three Dodgers in a row. Here's Steve Yeager. Forty-one, he makes contact, but it's a ground ball to shortstop. Tim Foley is up with it. Throws over to Pop Stargell, and there's two down. One more to go, and Bly Levin has a complete game. Vic Davalio is the Dodger pinch hitter. Here's the windup, the high leg kick from Bly Levin, and the pitch to Vic Davalio. Fifty-two is a twenty-seven ground ball to third or X. That's a strikeout, and Burt Blylevin closed this game out in Hall of Fame style, striking out four of the last five Dodgers. That's the ball game. The final score of Pittsburgh 5, Los Angeles 1. Well, the dice turn up as sixes in the Pirates series with the Los Angeles Dodgers. This is the 1970s tournament. They knocked the Dodgers out of the tournament. Dodgers scored one run on six hits and no errors. The Pirates scored five runs on six hits and they committed one error. The winning pitcher was Burt Blylevin, uh, gave up one unearned run. Um, that was due to the throwing error on the cross ceiling that eventually allowed Steve Garvey to score the Dodgers' only run in the fourth inning. And the losing pitcher was Tommy John, who gave up four earned runs in six innings. Four hits allowed, two strikeouts, and a walk. Star of the game is Burt Blylevin, who basically pitched a shutout today. And he didn't strike anybody out until the sixth inning, but from there on, he struck out six Dodgers, finished the game strong, and walked away with the victory. Our next series begins tomorrow. It's going to be the 1977 Philadelphia Phillies. Taking on the 1972 Oakland Athletics. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. Doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Good day and God bless.